Good afternoon. Let the Juneteenth celebrations begin. Mayor Lori Lightfoot told the crowd here at Daly Plaza that it was quite remarkable that we could be together for this event with everything back open. Juneteenth is a paid Cook County holiday for the first time in the city of Chicago, and the state of Illinois will soon follow. Uh, the Juneteenth flag now flies in Daly Plaza next to the pride flag and the American flag. The red, white, and blue represent the contributions of black Americans to this country. The Lone Star is for the Lone Star State where slavery came to an end. Juneteenth isn't until Saturday, but there are events taking place all week. On June 19th, 1865, the last slaves were freed in Galveston, Texas. That is about two and a half years after the Emancipation Proclamation. It has taken on added significance following George Floyd's death. Mayor Lightfoot announced that next year, Juneteenth will be a city holiday. We may not have the power to change the past, but we do have a responsibility to take an honest look at that past, address its modern day impacts, and work to prevent mistakes and atrocities from ever repeating themselves again. Now, last year, Mary Lori Lifewood said that the uh, city could not afford to make Juneteenth a holiday during the pandemic, but that is going to change next year. 46 states have made Juneteenth state holidays. Senator Kimberly Lightford announced during this event that Governor Pritzker has agreed to sign a bill that would make Illinois the 47th state to do so. Outside Daily Plaza in the Loop, Judy Wang, WGN News.